Hey everyone, Tim Boris from Fresh Wellness Group. We're back again with part two of tip number four in our successful nutrition series. And this is, uh, forget about calories and nutrients, but we're going to talk about nutrients now. In the previous video, I talked about how a focus on calories is probably the most destructive aspect of nutrition. However, a focus on nutrients can also be destructive. This may seem counterintuitive since you're like, well, I'm trying to maximize the positive nutrients in the food I'm eating. The problem is the mindset from which this is approached. You know, as mentioned in the other video, food is synergistic. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And science still has no idea about the complexity of the interactions that happen when we eat foods that are whole foods and grown in rich soil. Now, this is really important because the soil creates the nutrients in the food I'm not going to go into the whole organic food cycle and how soil quality impacts that, but it has a massive impact on the nutrients in the food that we eat. And these days, there's a strong reductionist mentality around food. I'm going to use carrots as an example. Science have, has identified a number of key ingredients, things like beta carotene. And people are like, oh, beta carotene with eyes. I know, remember, carrots make my, eyes, my eyesight good. So the reductionist approach says, great, let's extract beta carotene or any other component that we've found that's really beneficial for some type of health benefit. And maybe they create a synthetic version of it. Maybe they use the, the, the real ingredient that's been extracted. But the problem is there are hundreds of other compounds in a carrot. And we have no idea how those compounds interact with each other and how they improve our health. We just know that eating carrots makes us healthy. That doesn't mean extracting beta carotene from a carrot and putting it in a pill form is going to make us healthier. Fundamentally, this is at the root of the challenges that people are facing in nutrition these days. You see people running off to the health food store to get this pill or this powder or this potion that's an extract of some food. And they're like, oh, it's, but it's got five times the amount. Yes, it might have five times the amount of that particular substance, but we're missing out on the integration, the synergistic effect of eating a whole real food. Plus, it's really hard to overeat whole natural foods. Beta carotene, let's use that example again. You can get enough beta carotene in there that would be like eating five pounds of carrots. When was the last time you ever sat down and ate five pounds of carrots? You could try but you probably won't feel too good doing it, be a little ill after that. So nature has its own way of limiting our portion intake. You can basically eat as much fresh vegetables as you want, and it's going to be really hard to eat too many calories or overeat. You're going to get enough nutrients, so your body's naturally going to say, hey, I've had enough. You, I'm full. I'm satiated. You can go on. Take a break now. And that's something that's missing in a lot of these fake foods or processed foods. Our body is missing key nutrients, even though there are tons of calories, but we're missing the things that we need most. So our body keeps looking for it. Plus, a lot of those fake foods, they stimulate brain centers. It's like crack. It's, they're literally, food is a drug and it stimulates uh, responses in our brain and the cells in our body. So when we eat fake foods, we're getting unnatural or synthetic responses to food that wouldn't naturally occur in, in our normal day-to-day -day nature. The challenge is so much of our food environment is filled with these fake foods. So if we go back to the, the basics of eating real food, whole natural, fresh fruits and vegetables, good quality protein sources, our body's going to get what it needs at the most basic level. If you're doing that consistently and you still need a supplement, that's the whole idea of a supplement. It's a supplement to regular eating. It's not your regular eating plan. Keep that in mind. If you want more information on fueling your body, nutrition, health, check out pillar number four of the Fitness Curveball series. It's all about fuel. You can pick it up on Amazon, timboris.com forward slash curveball or thefitnesscurveball.com. I'd love to hear your comments. Post them below. We'll see you soon.